Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. It is April the 11th, and um, it is 7.43 a.m. Um, here where I am, and um, I'm back. I've been away for a while. Um, just, um, you know, life stuff. So, I am back, and I am back with a 100-day challenge um, last night I was scrolling through my Instagram and I had an epiphany. I had an epiphany and I had, um, was inspired by myself, by my, uh, post that I did years and years ago when I was really, really focused, um, on weight loss and my journey and just, you know, getting to the goal and I have gotten so far off track, but today is a new day, which is why I'm filming this because I'm going to bring you all along on this 100-day challenge. And I'm going to share with you what it is. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to get on the scale. And I'm worrying myself. And I'm going to let you see exactly where I am. I was highly disappointed during this quarantine of, you know, my eating. And um, just, you know, how everybody is where they were stuck in the house. We're eating. You know, it's been about a month. That, you know, I've been working from home. And just, just trying to discipline myself to be focused, you know, enough to work from home. But, you know, you're home, so, um, you know, you can't go anywhere, you can't go out, you can't do anything. However, um, there are ways to become more active and proactive, which is what I'm getting ready to do today. I'm getting ready to take my control back. So, I'm going to show you what I weigh, and then I'm going to show you what the challenge is. So, give me a minute. Okay, so I'm getting ready to step on the scale. And here it goes. Yep, so that's what is it is. As ugly as it is, it is the truth. Everything is the truth right now, y'all. Me looking like I'm looking, I took my, my braids out. Last night, and I washed my hair, and I just got it up. But, um, you know, it's time. So, I am, like I said, I'm going to be doing a 100-day challenge. Oh, my God, let me get my pants uncut and wrong. But I'm going to be doing a 100-day challenge, and I'm getting ready to show you what the challenge is going to be. So, hold on one moment, and I'll show you. Okay, guys, so I warmed up and I did the five-minute um, belly blast, whatever, for your, your midsection with um, Leslie Sansone. And me and my husband, we actually did it just like a little bit over five minutes. And I feel it. So I did that one. The challenge is for the first week to... Um, get in at least five minutes of physical activity and over the 14 week you know um over the 14 weeks then you're gonna increase it by five minutes but the last three weeks i think is like it gets at 60 minutes so we leave it at 60 minutes or more but the first week is five minutes of non-stop physical activity and then on week two it'll move up to 10 minutes week three 15 minutes so so forth so on it is the challenge is um a part of my losing to win weight loss group which is on facebook and i'm going to try to leave the link in the description if you have not joined that group if you're on facebook you would like to join me a part come join me over there and um yeah that's what we're gonna be doing for the next 100 days so this is just something that i i was inspired to do on last night like i said i have been sitting on the couch i have not been trying to do anything since i did the keto challenge which was like in maybe august and i think i lost like 15 20 pounds on that and then I've gained that plus more back 
um, just not have been motivated, inspired, been eating whatever, haven't been exercising, haven't been doing absolutely anything. And last night I made a decision in my mind that if nothing changes, nothing changes. And that's one of the most powerful quotes that I've ever read. And it's the absolute truth. So I had to take a look in the mirror at myself, reflect back and say, okay, Pam, you know, I know you may not feel like it. We're in, um, quarantine mode where we're being lazy on the couch, watching TV, Netflix, Hulu, but you got to do something. Um, my weight can't not continue to escalate because I never want to get back to where I was before. And I'm close now to being back to where I was when I first started this journey like eight years ago. Um, however, nonetheless, it's all good. You know, we just can't stop. It's a journey. It's, 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 it's a part of life. You know, it's just life. So I pray that you all would join me on this challenge. And I just wanted to come to you how it is. But I'm getting ready to do something. My hair, wash my hair. Just pulled it back. But I'm getting ready to try to look halfway decent. Probably twist it up and everything. But um, I hope that you all are doing well out there. You and your families are safe. You're sound. Um, I've missed you. I'm glad that you're here. If you watched this far. Um, I hope that you are inspired and motivated, and that's just what I'm trying to do. You know, I wanted to get up. I was like, I got to do something. This morning, I was like, well, before I even do anything, let me get at least five minutes in. So my plan is to do the 10-minute walk also. So I've completed the five minutes, and that is, you know, absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you all my journal. I, um... I've shown this before on my channel. I bought this years ago, and I kind of like stopped and started and stopped. But this is my goal getter journal. Um, I'm trying to get that for the thumbnail. Kind of. Ladies, we ain't able to get our eyebrows done. Our nails, I had to take my nails off because all the nail salons are closed. I mean, it is, honey, we out here. We out here but it's gonna be it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right so i had to warm it up do what i need to do i hope that you all are doing wonderful like i said before and i just pray for your families and that all is well y'all we're gonna we're gonna make it through this we just have to keep praying and believing for the best the best is yet to come i don't i'm not sure in my mind what is gonna happen when this is all over with we'll know when we get to the end of it um, yeah, on, I think May the 11th or 12th, my job shut down immediately, um, because I do work, you know, at a college slash university, we close immediately. And so I've been working from home since then. And we were scheduled to go back on April the 16th. However, I don't think we're going to be able to go back into after probably April 30th, after April 30th. Um, so yeah, y'all, um, it just got everybody scratching their heads because we've never been in, been through anything like this before. But the only thing we do is stay positive, keep praying, take it one day at a time. God is gonna get us through this. We pray for each other. And um, yeah, so I look forward to following up with you all. I'm not sure how long, how how much I'm going to follow up. Um, maybe I try to do it every day since, you know, we're out on this quarantine. Um, to try to check in with you guys to make sure that I'm on track. <laughs> and, um, you know, but if you want to join the challenge, please by, please, by all means, um, join the challenge. Um, just to get, you know, just active. Um, and then hopefully, you know, the food and everything will follow. But, I feel good about, you know, at least accomplishing that this morning. So, y'all have a good, safe weekend. Happy Easter weekend. Happy Resurrected Sunday. If you, you know, if you uh, celebrate Christ and, you know, him raising from the dead and him dying on the cross. Some of you may not believe that. You may, whatever it is that you believe, that's your belief. So, anyway, happy weekend to you all. I pray that you all stay safe. 
stay at home if you can. Um, just follow the stay at home orders until we all get through this. Trouble don't last always. If nothing changes, nothing changes. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.